Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Dak speaking. And uh, I believe it is time, it is very important that I do a video. I'm recording this in, my, in, in an iPad. Uh, so I still don't know where to look at. So this is about the refugee situation. I'm going to tell you something that is obvious and some things that may not be obvious. The obvious things is, are that um, the world seems to have been divided amongst those who think idealistically and naively that uh, there is no danger whatsoever in this sudden refugee flood going on in Europe and that... Uh, Organizations such as ISIS could never have um, tried to use this uh, wave of refugees to infiltrate these uh, operationals or agents. Um, and I think that is highly incorrect. I think there are solid reasons to be concerned about this and to make sure that there are no lax procedures of... Uh, of letting these people just come right ahead and you know don't even take the time to try to find out who they are what where are they coming from and why are they coming here etc okay and uh, and and if someone like questions that that the those people's right to just come and uh, you know not be subject to any sort of procedure of security measures and stuff. They're all automatically deemed as being uh, xenophobes and racists and stuff like that. People who uh, raise some concerns about whether or not the people that are being admitted uh, have um, psychological and uh, cultural conditions to integrate in our societies, not to be... Um, cause of more upheaval, disturbance, and uh, problems, because isn't it uh, totally acceptable that you try to mitigate or not contribute to more problems in our already, already fragile uh, societies, and uh, especially in those uh, countries like Portugal and Greece that have massive public debts and uh, that have a lot of poverty and are in a process of recovery okay so I believe that those people who uh, who Yunish called the um, uh, angelic dumbasses otarios uh, and should probably reconsider and uh, live in the real world be more pragmatic now the other part it may be more unsettling to me because, yeah, there is a lot of xenophobes and racists and stuff like that and people who are just totally freaking ignorant. So I believe the vast majority of these people who are uh, being considered xenophobes are just people who are very poorly informed and I have the, and don't possess the necessarily the necessary skeptical and um, evidence minding um, reasoning to just uh, check their sources and stuff like that and fall prey to these uh, hate mongers and fear mongers who take time to produce these uh, memes and stuff like that and uh, take things out of context deliberately to instigate hate and fear towards people who may just be freaking victims and maybe just Christians because there are a lot of fleeing Christians uh, for what I know uh, like there was three or four years ago 10% of the Syrian population was Christian and nowadays it's like 2% so Maybe those 8% of Christians are a lot of those refugees. Ever think about that? Now, 
uh, this is precisely what I wanted to talk about in this video. And I wanted to give you examples. For example, there is, I don't know if you can see this or not, probably not. And you see this freaking image right here? It's an image, and unfortunately it's uh, mirrored. But it's uh, on one side of the image there's this beautiful Syrian girl. She's probably not Syrian. Uh, and uh, on the other panel there's this, uh, supposedly it's the same girl, with a crucifix buried down her throat, bleeding, tied down, and there's this... Uh, Caption, Christians in Syria. Mm. Islam's a religion of peace and they will viol violently kill anyone who says otherwise. Now that's pretty effective, right? If I, if this is a uh, tr true story, bruh, I would be like, fuck those motherfucking Islamic bitches. And I'm like, yeah, I guess, fuck those Islamic bitches. But... Not in the same way and with, not with the same indignation as an image like this would produce. I say fuck those Islamic bitches in the same sense of that as I say fuck those Christian bitches and those uh, Hindu bitches and those Buddhist bitches. Because I don't like religion. I'm a, I'm a strong atheist and I loathe religion and religious thinking, faith-based reasoning. That's not even reasoning. I'm like totally evidence-based reasoning and stuff like that. So I'm an atheist. I don't believe in any of that crap and uh, I find it kind of ridiculous to live by a moral code built on something that is with a very high probability not true 99% probability there's no God so that moral code is coming out of someone's ass it's someone's opinion and uh, taking it as sacred or highly enlightened no you're being a dumbass you're being manipulated and this is exactly the kind of stuff that revolts me because it's being manipulative as fuck. So that you know, you, you, you should, before you post a video of something very um, revolting, you should probably take the time to verify whether or not that video is telling the truth or at least give the proper context to the video because this is obviously true, right? It's a fucking picture. It happened, right? But what is it? It's 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 coming from a website and Snopes.com, which is a site dedicated to dismantling um, these ludicrous claims or very hard to believe claims. And this is a freaking hard to believe claim. You should probably have some sort of red light or red flag telling you. This, I should probably verify this because this is really too absurd, right? This is a freaking vicious thing. Before I, like, put that out there as consummated fact, I probably should try to search down the, the facts. And the fact is, this is, uh, this is uh, the, uh, a, f a photography and from a photograph called uh, Remy Couture. And he staged that shit. Um, shit. Okay. The picture of the seemingly bloodied and dead young woman is a staged one, the making of which involved no actual violence or injury, taken from a horror film to which someone has added a fictitious backstory and an unrelated bit of Arabic text. The original is the work of Canadian special effects artist Remy Couture, who in 2012 was tried and acquitted of violating that country's obscenity laws. Okay? So this is from something called Inner Depravity. It's a movie. God damn it. So, I myself have fallen several times prey to these out-of-context things. And in, 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 in terms of this refugee crisis, there's at least three that I recall the thing where they're refusing... Uh, food because of the red the, the the symbol of the red cross it's not the reason they're not less dumbasses for the real reason which is like they they weren't being just oh, come on right in doesn't matter if the train has the train that we are uh, providing to you 
has just the capacity of 200 to 300 people per hour, you just want to... And you're like mad. And you're like hunger striking because you're mad. But that's, but that's the reason. It's not because they're like... Uh, oh, it's got a cross. Okay, so it's manipulative. It's not true. Okay, whether or not you, th you believe the real reason is dumber or not, you should know the real reason to decide what you really think based on the, the truth, right? Now, uh, and, there, and a lot more, a lot more. There's a lot, a lot more um, videos that are taken out of context. And for example, uh, videos of riots in Paris that are totally years ago, you know? There's, it's not Syrians or anything. It's just stupid. And the, the Island of Lesbos video, the real reason, it's because some refugees of Syria and Afghanistan, they were in clashes between themselves because the Afga Af Afghans were thinking they, they were being undermined in their claims to, refu to refugee status. And they were like going at each other, but it's not like the Syrian refugees are attacking the locals. That's not the issue. So, before you post videos that you hate, and that people who will watch the videos will probably hate too, try to provide proper context. Try to do your homework. Okay? You have real reasons to be fearful of these of this problem you may want a military intervention as the solution to the islamic state and those are motherfuckers okay uh, or uh, you may want to oh come on it's etc et but you have reasons valid reasons of concern you don't need to resort to uh, manipulative false claims, hate mongerish claims, you don't need that. Use the real reasons. That's more respectable. And fuck those angelic dumbasses. Because they piss me off too. We don't live in a paradise. And some some thing some nasty things need to be done about nasty problems. You need to acknowledge that too pacifists okay this is all I had to say keep informed bye bye